What happened between Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton? It seemed like one minute the couple were solid, and the next they were on the rocks in a very public way. Alas, they just couldn't make it work in the end. Here's just what went down between the country music superstars. While Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton were one of the hottest couples in all of country music for a time, they were both involved with other people when they first met. But those commitments went out the window once the spark started flying. Shelton revealed in an episode of VH1's Behind the Music, I've never had that kind of experience with anybody. I was a married guy, you know? Standing up there and singing with somebody and going, man, this shouldn't be happening. Looking back on that moment, he added that he realized he was already falling in love with her. Lambert felt the pull, too. Despite her engagement to country singer Jeff Allen McManus, she revealed on Dateline in 2011, I knew he was married. I knew better. Like, this is off limits. So Shelton divorced his first wife and Lambert broke off her engagement so they could be together. In 2010, after five years of dating, Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton finally got engaged. And as Lambert tells it, Shelton was a perfect gentleman when it came to popping the big question. She told people, He called my dad and got his blessing first. That was so Southern and old school and perfect. Shelton didn't just get that right, as he also managed to wow Lambert with his selection of a diamond and platinum engagement ring. She added, I was so proud of him. We've been together five years, so he knew exactly what I wanted. But it's so much more perfect than I could have picked out myself. Wedding bells rang for Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton on May 14, 2011. The pair tied the knot at a star-studded wedding on a Texas ranch, and Lambert sounded like she was over the moon with joy. She gushed in an interview with People, I'm just excited to be married because I want to tell Blake I really can love him for the rest of my life and be happy and make him happy. After the wedding, Shelton took a break from his work commitments to spend the rest of the month with his new bride. He explained to People, I mean, no friends, no family, just she and I just hanging out for the good part of the month. That will be good enough for us that she'll go back to wanting to kill me again and wishing that I would go back to work. While Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton made their home in rural Oklahoma, Shelton's work commitments meant he wasn't at home very much. Not only was he a judge on the wildly popular show The Voice, but he also went on tour promoting his own music. Lambert also had obligations, as she's a successful musician in her own right. But despite this predicament, Lambert and Shelton managed to carve out time for themselves. Lambert told People in 2013, We won't go more than two weeks without seeing each other. That wasn't easy either, as Shelton explained that it takes a good deal of effort to make it work. You come up with all these different ideas and theories, we're gonna make sure we have this many days together. But the truth is that you just gotta take advantage of every window of time that you have, and you can't force it to happen. When Blake Shelton signed on to be a judge on The Voice, he knew that he was going to be spending a lot of time in Los Angeles. To that end, he had to look for a place where he could hang his hat at night when he wasn't in Oklahoma. And as he tells it, the place he picked wasn't a lonely little bachelor pad by any stretch of the imagination. He revealed to people, I found this big-ass nice house with a pool. But Shelton also had hopes that he could endear Miranda Lambert to California living, although that didn't go over very well at all. The first time she ever came, she was like, This is dumb. Why did you get a house this big? And I was like, I thought you'd like it. Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton may have seemed like a perfect match whenever they were together, but, according to Lambert, the pressures of fame took a real toll on their marriage. In 2014, People reported her saying, You are being pulled apart. Literally. Blake's person is pulling him that way and my person is pulling me this way. It got to a point where they were both wondering when they'd get their time together. However, it's possible that Lambert was the one doing most of the wondering, as Shelton has admitted she was the one making the effort to see him. It got to a point where Lambert reportedly felt abandoned by her husband and thought he cared more about The Voice than her, as sources told TMZ. It didn't help that she doesn't really love Los Angeles, where Shelton was working. One of the biggest questions many people have to ask themselves before they get married is whether or not they want to have children. That way, you can make sure that you and your partner both want the same thing. Well, when it came to Blake Shelton's stance on the issue, he wasn't shy about his desires, noting in 2011 that he'd love to give the gift of grandkids to his parents. However, a year after Shelton expressed his desire to have children, Miranda Lambert didn't sound quite as enthusiastic about the issue. People reported her saying, 
That's the one thing I really want to plan the right way, because I don't want to have children and raise them on a plane or a bus. Right now, we're both at our peak and having a blast, and I don't think either one of us is thinking about changing a thing. For as much as Blake Shelton made Miranda Lambert a happy woman, that didn't mean that she walked around with a smile on her face 24-7. That just isn't in her nature. She told Marie Claire, I'm not sunshine and roses. Blake's the happiest person on the planet. He pulls me out of my darkness. Well, opposites do attract, as the old adage goes. Additionally, Shelton once referred to Lambert as complicated, which understandably threw her for a loop. He added, she was like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? But it is the best way I know to describe her. That's what I admire about her, her complications. That's certainly an odd compliment. Miranda Lambert is an award-winning country music superstar, capable of packing concert halls and performing in front of thousands of people. But when the lights go down and the crowd goes home, Lambert sounds more like an introvert than an extrovert. And that was especially the case when she was a young girl. Her mother told Marie Claire, Miranda started off extremely shy. She wouldn't speak, not a word at school. If she had to order her own food, she'd just not eat. While Lambert eventually warmed up to the world a bit more, given that she and Blake Shelton made their home in rural Oklahoma, you can deduce that she still was more interested in the quiet life. I make sure I spend good quality time with my husband, where it's just us being normal. It's like, let's go backroading today, just me and you. Given that Shelton looks more at home on a stage in Los Angeles than he does anywhere else, it's possible that he's more extroverted than his ex-wife is. One of the most important things in any relationship, whether romantic or otherwise, is the ability to have complete trust in one another. So in an effort to be as transparent as possible, Blake Shelton never hesitated to let Miranda Lambert go through his phone to prove he wasn't hiding anything. He told People, That's really the kind of trust we have. There are no secrets. I'll say, go dig through my drawers or my computer if you feel like you need to. He added that offering that to Lambert had been good for their marriage, as he never wanted her to have doubts about his fidelity. However, in the end, that wasn't enough to keep either Lambert or Shelton confident, according to one source. An insider told E! News, Trust was an issue for both of them. It went along with having to spend a lot of time apart. And in the end, things fell apart anyway. By the time 2015 rolled around, Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton's marriage was on its last legs. By the middle of the year, they were officially on the rocks, and Shelton proceeded to file divorce papers. The couple said in a statement obtained by E! News, We are real people with real lives, with real families, friends, and colleagues. Therefore, we kindly ask for privacy and compassion concerning this very personal matter. However, that didn't mean there wasn't any bitterness, as both parties accused the other of infidelity. As noted by TMZ, it got so bad that the people they each accused the other of cheating with, Chris Young and Katie Groves, got caught up in the fallout as well. According to Groves' older brother, her career took a hit because of the allegations. He revealed to Radar Online she lost her record deal. She lost an album she spent years on. Young also took to Twitter to deny his involvement in Shelton and Lambert's divorce, calling both parties his friends. I was in touch with uh, with Blake all day that day. He's like, dude, sorry. <laughs> I was like, I know, man. When Blake Shelton was going through his divorce from Miranda Lambert, he was utterly heartbroken. In an interview with Chelsea Handler the following year, the singer reflected on that time. Last year when my marriage and everything just fell apart and, and then trying to pick the pieces up from being at the rock, rock bottom. He even stayed at his friend Adam Levine's house for a while to help him cope with his grief. Shelton also found a friend in Gwen Stefani, who was going through her own high-profile divorce from Gavin Rossdale after 20 years. But as they got closer, confiding in one another about their marital fallouts, Shelton realized he'd fallen in love with her. Next thing I know, I wake up and she's all I care about, and I'm wondering if she feels the same about me. It turns out that she did, and the rest is history. As for how Lambert felt about Shelton's new relationship, a source told E! News, she was not surprised to hear of the romance between Blake and Gwen. They were always pretty flirty. Just as Blake Shelton moved on from Miranda Lambert, so too did Lambert move on from Shelton. In fact, she wasted no time finding a new beau, as she was dating musician Anderson East before 2015 was over. A friend of East told Us Weekly, she couldn't have picked a better dude to have fun with. Anderson is the coolest guy. However, that relationship wasn't meant to be, as Lambert and East split up two years later, as noted by another article in Us Weekly.
Fortunately for Lambert, the Pistol Annie singer did finally get her happily ever after. In November of 2018, Lambert met then-NYPD officer Brendan McLaughlin outside of the Good Morning America studio in New York City. Clearly, the pair were smitten with one another right away as they tied a knot in a secret wedding just three months later. It's really good to be genuinely happy. I mean, you almost don't realize that you're not until you get there. So what's the real reason Miranda Lambert kept her wedding a secret? She explained in a chat with People. I was married before, and it was a huge wedding and everything was very public. With Brendan, I made it a point to keep it as private as I could for as long as I could. All's well that ends well, then. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!